guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new my name is bernice everybody's big sister and this here is the sister squad if you're new here all you have to do to become a member is subscribe get notified and make sure you don't leave without commenting because that's what we do around here um so it is a monday it is family day it's a south african holiday right after good friday right after the passover weekend where we get to reconnect reset and spend some time with our families so I chose to spend mine with my family <laughs> um yeah it is a gloomy monday it was actually looking like it's going to be sunny hence i'm wearing a vest i just got back from spa to get a few things that i wanted to use for breakfast and a few things that were also needed around the house um i literally thought it was going to be sunny and i was actually upset that it was going to be sunny because i packed a sweater and boots to wear today so i'm glad that it's going back to being gloomy but also can it not rain because it's been raining and you guys might have heard me mention that there's construction in this house and there's areas where the rain penetrates and it makes it impossible to live in here so i just like i'm good with the rain i know it's a blessing i know it's a good sign but i'm so good with the rain anyway today plan for the days i'm about to make my, myself breakfast if you guys watch my vlogs regularly you know that i'm the laziest person ever when it comes to the kitchen and domestic stuff so but this is like friend you need to start making more stuff for yourself like i just i want to open up a box of cereal put it in a bowl pour some milk wait for it to get soft and eat that's literally me so today i'm gonna make an effort I was originally thinking, let me go eat out for breakfast, but I'm like, no, no, it's still this ourselves. I'm going to make myself a breakfast wrap. So it's going to be a bacon, egg, avo wrap. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be delicious. And um, I'm going to show you guys how I make it. And cheese. There's going to be cheese in there as well. And then I'm going to get my hair done. Look at this mess, child. It is an absolute mess. It's been over two weeks since I've had this, had this hairstyle. I wasn't intending to keep it that long. But I just didn't have time to do my hair. The only time that I had to do my hair was Thursday after work. But I knocked off so late and I had to go to church to rehearse. It was a mess. So I just had to improvise. I've been adding gel and putting water for it to look nice. You see, yesterday I tried to do my edges. But I'm tired now. But also, I'm going to do another styling job. Because I'm trying to give my hairline a break. You see, my Moses and Bombella Stadium it's it's yeah it's hectic i've been braiding my hair without a break so i think a break is overdue so i'm just going to do another styling job i'm going to do maybe like a low bun this time i've never done a low bun before i'm a bit nervous about it but i think something different will be refreshing so i'm going to go to princess and do that and then there's a few things that i need from this cam i'm running out of makeup i'm literally running out of makeup and i'm so stressed because that means smelling flow and only 1.2 meter it is chem and i'm worried about that hopefully i have some points because i've been swiping my card without redeeming them so i'm hoping for the best that's the plan for the day so far i really don't know what else is going to happen maybe we'll do lunch later maybe, maybe we'll do dinner i don't know maybe we'll go shop i don't know i don't know but you should stay tuned had her avos they're actually so cold they look like they're frozen um in a container like this like a tapa or whatever you want to call it and submerged in water and apparently this keeps them fresher for longer i bought these in my last vlog which was a saturday imagine they are from Woolworths, so they are superior quality and i kept them in here after some days of just being in the fridge, not in this container. And then I remembered that I had elbows, and then I did this. And I just wanna check now if this is the truth. What 
I'm gonna be so disappointed if it's not the truth because literally this meal depends on this avocado. Let's test it out. So this is a week old avocado that has been on in the fridge in a container for about three days now. It's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. It's still soft. It is super green. Like, I don't know if you buy your avo elsewhere, if it will have the same um, progress or the same effect or the same result. This is a Woolworths avo. It's absolutely fresh, you guys. Absolutely fresh. Uh, so I'm going to put my wrap together now. After eating, I tidied up, cleaned up the kitchen. I've got some stuff running in the machine right now. I think you can hear it behind me. Um, tidied up, and now I'm going to go and bath and then head to the salon. Look at my hair. Look at my hair. This is the ghetto. This is the ghetto. Look at my face. I don't know what I was touching with my face, but you know, water. This sun is out, hence I'm doing some laundry because I don't think it's going to be out for long. I really don't think it's going to be out for long, especially the week to come. We are expecting a whole lot of rainfall from my constant checking of the weather forecast. It looks like we are expecting a lot of rainfall. So better use this opportunity now. Anyway, I'm going to go bath now and uh, we will catch up when I'm ready to head out. I'm now at the mall. Um, so there's low shedding currently, but I believe that it should be over in less than 20 minutes. Um, but I decided to just come to the mall anyway. Um, I'm gonna start at this game and see and see if the spirit is willing to spend money on makeup. I'm out of concealer, literally, my concealer utiko over the weekend i did not do any baking highlighting contouring um over the weekend i was just literally a foundation and brow girl for the duration of good friday or the passover weekend can you hear my voice by the way strong so my voice is tired and then so yeah i'm running out of i don't have my favorite setting spray anymore i have the maybelline one i don't hate it i absolutely don't hate it but i really really die for my um nivea rose water hydrating mist i don't know there's just something about that foundation i mean that um setting spray check it this game how much it's gonna cost me i also need day cream when it was today i was squeezing it 
Yo, okay, guys, let's go in. Let's go in. We'll see what we get. We'll see what we have to leave. Let's go. lighting is pretty decent so i kind of look a little cute but like i don't know it just feels like it's gonna be over for it in like two minutes i don't know it's just orgut is the first time doing a low bun maybe that's why but i always do straight back which is basically what i'm doing what i have on now so maybe i'll fall in love with it after a day or two i don't know I don't know. Right now, I'm so hungry. I think I'm going to have a hot cross bun, guys. I'm so into hot cross buns these days. It is so freaking crazy. And a cappuccino. I'm trying this new flavor. Um, it's called a tin roof flavor from Hagen & It's so delicious, you guys. It's a limited edition, and I'm stressed out. I feel like I need to buy at least four boxes and just keep them. Because I've been drinking the cinnamon bun one. I'm obsessed. I hope they keep it around. I hope they keep the 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 tin roof flavor because it's so good and then i'm gonna try and beg my boyfriend to take me to dinner i'm really really craving um steak medium well pepper steak medium well with mushroom sauce butternut cream spinach and chips and a glass of dry red wine like that would just like that would make my day if he doesn't want to go, I'm honestly going to go alone because sometimes you must just spoil yourself. You must do nice things for yourself, take yourself out to dinner, do the things that you crave, even if it's alone. Really, I'm, I'm seriously going to go, even if it's alone. Anyway, let me bambisa with the hot cross bun and we will catch up when I go out later for some food. <laughs> you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if i told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular tell me would you well baby i've been around the world but i ain't seen myself another girl like you this ring here represents good morning guys good morning good morning Ooh. Then when you get your hair done and your skin just pops, just like literally pops. Do you see that? Pop pink. Anyway, it's and it's fake Monday. It is um Tuesday. Yesterday was a holiday, so Muntu is relaxed. You know, after dinner, just went straight to bed because anyway, Sema's figure within 20 minutes, low cheering. So we had to sleep anyway. So I didn't catch up with you guys because literally got home to darkness and so now it's tuesday and i am off to work i actually got to work guys for the first time in my life <laughs> i got to work at 20 to 8 which is 20 minutes before my actual clock in time and then i got there and there was no electricity and i just cannot i cannot start the day without my morning coffee i just cannot for the life of me especially now that i'm working i'm corny guys i need caffeine so i'm at seattle now just want to grab some coffee I actually don't like store-bought coffee do you guys know that about me i don't like store-bought coffee especially if it's hot coffee i like iced coffee iced tea and whatnot but i don't really like store-bought coffee that's like hot i could it's just too hot it's, it's too hot like you have to wait so long to take a sip and the sugar content no matter how much you put in it just doesn't taste for me that's just me but i'm still gonna get it anyway because i just cannot go on with my day without coffee i'm gonna get coffee and you guys will see me way later when i knock off i've got some stuff to do at the mall i'm gonna take you guys along with me so yeah stay tuned A 
it's me again it's like one eternity later i know i stopped the vlogging abruptly because it just didn't make sense to vlog during the week because i feel like the content wouldn't make sense because, and also i would forget and also i'd get so busy that i'm like forgetting that i'm vlogging so i just stopped after i got i think the last clip was with me getting coffee yeah i got coffee in the morning i went back to work and i worked and whatever else and i didn't really do anything else during the week so there was nothing for you guys to see other than work which doesn't make sense to vlog so it is saturday now i just figured let me stop i'll continue on saturday so it's saturday morning um i'm not feeling too well i'm really not feeling too well i have a flu or a cold one of the two i can't really differentiate the two but my nose is a little bit blocked my throat is scratchy um i've got a slight headache i'm just not in a, a really good i'm like sick and it started around wednesday i've been drinking acc i've been drinking corex i've been drinking advil i've been using vicks around my nose and strepsils last night i had a tickle cough it was so bad i just woke up in the middle of the night with a tickle cough but i sucked on some strepsils and i was 100 and i woke up feeling a little bit better but i'm still quite sick you know how flu is it'll attack you in the night and then in the morning and then in the during the day will be okay so yeah i feel a little okay but i know that i'm still sick so i need to take care of myself anyway um you already know you already do you guys feel like you already know my life because this is what i feel like when i watch people that i watch consistently like zx like jessica i already know what they're gonna eat i already know what they're gonna wear i already know what they're going to buy like if i go to, if i tell you right now i'm going to just camp, you already have an idea who she's she's gonna buy this and this and this if i tell you i'm going to woolworths you already know i'm gonna buy this and this and this so i feel like comment down below and let me know if you feel like i'm predictable or you feel like you know me even though you don't know me i feel like this is we, we're at that level now if you've been watching from day one if you're a certified member you already know like my patterns what i'm gonna do where i'm gonna go what i'm gonna say um do comment down below and let me know if you feel that way already um anyway i'm gonna go get the breakfast of champions i'm gonna take i'm gonna give you a second to, to guess what the breakfast of champions is i wish this was live because i feel like you guys would already know the answer you know it's i'm gonna get some fed cooks um chips acha balonies mangalos uh, i'm drooling just thinking about it but is, is there a reason for us from being bakery to be this far though <clears throat> it is so far but i'm gonna go because that is my my bestie's favorite meal one of his favorite meals anyway so that's what i'm gonna get for him and then what's what else is happening today oh today is one of my children's birthday guys it's the 23rd of april shout out to linda happy birthday baby girl happy birthday guys my kids are so grown like my kids are so grown it is nuts um so i i'm going to be preparing a birthday gift for her via styles around three and and then i'm gonna go look for a gift for her um maybe a handbag or something she's a teenager she's turning 14 today so yeah the girl has grown i want to get her something like a hamilan nukbana 14 and then and then yeah that's about it for me as far as my plans go i would really also like to get a refill there by brush beauty bond but you have to write a four letter a four page essay and ever dub it give a blood sample and a DNA test to prove that you are worthy of even getting an appointment at Brush Beauty Barn. Like for real. Guys, it's so hard to get a booking there. It's always fully booked. It's always full. Like, even for me, even for me, everybody's big sister. Imagine. Imagine. Someone DM'd me the other day. Why can't they a Brush Beauty Barn? Guys, Anikali Noto Namiakala. Sikala Sisok. Anyway, it's in Hamburg, it's in Amakunya, guys. Let's go to the bakery and um, we'll catch up after I eat and I'll tell you what's up at that time. Alright, let's go. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last came. Who am I vibe? You 
Got some fake goods, got some polonies, got some scones. They're the best scones, they're so soft. They actually like pushugi. And then I got 15 chips because you don't like to have a lot of chips because in my fate they are very filling. I'm gonna drop these at my sister's. She loves these things, but I think one packet is too little. Maybe I must get another. Let me get another. Right, guys, it is afternoon now. Actually, spend so much time in bed just chilling okay i didn't chill all the way i edited a vlog uploaded a vlog made a thumbnail and then i rested i guys i'm not really feeling well yes i re the more that i move around i'm like girl the way that i feel honestly i should be in bed drinking soup that's how bad i feel so anyway um i'm home i just quickly <clears throat> want to show you guys something exciting i got a little package yesterday um from dudu zili and guni art she approached me a couple of basically last year telling me that she's an artist and she'd like to make a pro portrait of me and yeah i was like why not why the heck not so yeah her name is dudu zili Mguni and her Instagram handle, I believe this is Instagram, D Mguni, D as in double E E E, I put it on the screen anyway. And she says, Dear, with a little card here, and it says, Dear Bernice Madonzela, we hope this gift brings you a smile on your face. So it's basically a portrait of the girl. It's a portrait of the bee, you guys. Um, I'll try to find this picture. I don't remember what picture this is that she drew me from a picture that she had on probably that she found out either on my facebook or instagram and it's pretty accurate hey it's pretty accurate i think it would be more accurate if it had color but i think that's the whole point of her art it's that's her style of art that she she does so if you're interested in getting your portrait drawn or done maybe i don't know if she does family portraits or anything like that but i believe that you can inquire of her on her handle d mguni art if there's any other information i actually forgot to ask her for further information in case um there's something that you guys something crucial that you guys need to know but probably by the time that i edit this vlog she might have told me and then i'll find a way to squeeze it in but i'm pretty sure that you can get everything that you need to know from d mguni underscore art all right so now i'm just gonna pick an outfit i want to go beg my sister to to get to do to refill my nails guys this is a get into mazana like me leave so someone on instagram once said easy pon my shy adi wheelie when so look at kareli kilo pela my said shy adi wheelie it's not on it's not cute so i really really desperately am in need of a refill and then if that doesn't work out for me it's also fine i'm just gonna pick an outfit and then i'm gonna go shopping for the gift and the rest of the things that i need for that little package that i want to do for lindo and um, I think that's that's pretty much it. I also need to get the car washed. It is the filthiest car I've ever seen in my life. And it repairs. It shows exactly how dirty it is. So if Nelly agrees to the refill, then I'll park the car at Tom Tiger for a wash. And then I will get my nails done. If not, I don't know when I'm going to squeeze in the car washing. Because I don't want to wait and not do anything at all. Um, but yeah, I prefer to take it to, to Tom Tiger. Not only is it really close to my house, but it is one of the best car washes. They really do a really, really good clean. Like, really, really good clean. Anyway, it's a new one. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi.
guys i'm at tom tiger collecting the car she's so clean it's so clean my boyfriend's gonna be shook but anyway um we're late now we headed to highfeld mall nil is waiting for me we will take you with see now i'm waiting for zanelle and i told her as soon as i hoot she must come out we are late we want to go to h&m they close at six it's quarter to five so i mean what are we gonna do there for 30 minutes okay but it's, as long as we're in the shop i think we're safe um so now i'm waiting for her and i don't know why she's making me wait so i'm thinking i want to go to h&m and get something cute for the girl and also i need something white i'm going to an all white thing next week again so soon after this one i just recovered from this previous one um but i'm gonna need something that's obviously a little bit warmer than the dress that i wore to my cousin's lunch so i'm looking at getting like something long sleeved hopefully i can find something cute at h&m i don't know why i don't have anything all white like i have white shirts i recently bought a white turtleneck but i don't have white pants Guys, we're at Highfeld now. Um, I think it's like 10 quarter past five. We actually made it here quite faster than I thought, and we're gonna make it to HM on time. Yay! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello, it's been a minute since we last kissed. <laughs> By the way, just got in town And I won't let Kill me in this cloud all in the sky Who am I by? Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option Due to unusual pain and thunder Baby, I wonder Guys, we went to bowling. She said she wants to go bowling because she wants to sharpen her bowling skills. Must figure out. It was not a sharpener. It was the. It was a knife. I'm sorry, girl. Yeah. Even me, I didn't know. Yo, Aisha. You're a wizard. You're a witch. Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is now um, Sunday, it is 10 past 8 
and I am at Alveston Manor um, Hotel and Spa. But this time I'm going to the spa, but not for me. I actually booked a treatment for my besties, Coco Sam, on Friday, and they only had a slot for today. So, yeah, he's had like a really hectic work week. But <coughs> why not surprise him or treat him with something relaxing? And I called Elveston, and by God's grace, my goodness, they had a special 200 Rand for a 45 minute back, neck, and shoulder massage. And I just wanted to die because it's such a sweet deal. It's such a sweet deal. I think the normal price is three something, close to 400, if not 400, I'm not sure, for a back, um, neck, and shoulder massage. Um, but it's pretty reasonable considering that it's 45 minutes. That's a long time. And guys, let me tell you something, if I've never told you before, Alveston has one of the best massages, the best. I mean, I've been to, I think now three, no four. I've been to now four spas here in Middleburg. And I don't wanna bash the others, they all really good in their own light. But the Alveston one, there's just something about it that's just top tier. And also for me personally, I prefer getting a massage in a dark, dark, dark room, which is what they do here. And it smells like an aromatherapy in the rooms. And it's just, everything's just perfect. The professionalism, the hands, everything, the oils they use. Like guys, I'm telling you, it's like, I am pro supporting all the other spas, but you have to try Alveston just once. Unfortunately, the special is ending today. So even when you watch this, sorry, <laughs> but you should follow Alveston on their Facebook, they always have a special. They literally always have a special. So yeah, I'm just treating my boyfriend to something nice. He's gonna come at nine. I already told him, but I just wanna pay for it because I had um, booked it via the, a phone call. So I'm just here to pay for it. And then I have other errands to run before um, Ilanj Umtwana. They're actually going to work bank today to celebrate Lindo's birthday. I don't know if I'm coming with, I, don't, I never got an invite. I never got an invite, <laughs> but it's fine. I actually miss Balisa so much. If I'm not going to lunch with the girlies, then I'm gonna go and visit Balisa today because I haven't seen her in like the longest time. As you can hear, my voice is crappy because of the flu. You know how it is, flu in the morning, flu in the evening is bad. I actually literally have a flask um, with some Corex inside. I'm gonna drink it as soon as I'm done here. It's really hot right now. So yeah, guys, come along. The weekend is almost over. It's the last day of the vlog that I'll take you with.
My children, it is days later and the mother is exhausted. She's absolutely sick. She's absolutely tired. It's just not nice being your mother at all, at all. I'm going through it. I've got flu, I'm blocked. It's a mother. Um, but basically on Sunday, we went, I ended up joining the kiddies. We all went to um, dinner and lunch, it was lunch. We had lunch together as like a family and then afterwards the kids got to do whatever they wanted play ball and whatever i was with the little kiddies we had um some of Lindo's cousins there so i was playing with them and then the teenagers were playing on their own it was just a really good time afterwards we dropped the kids off and then we went to cappuccinos as the grown-up club chino not cappuccinos because cappuccinos is in woodbank the middleburg branch is now changed to club chino if you do not know I'm kidding. I heard that from Pro. We were talking about how Cappuccinos is now this like vibey place, and she was like, "You know what? T and I call it Club Chino." And I was like, "You guys are valid. You guys are on point. You guys have nailed it. Literally, it has become Club Chino. We spent a few club uh, um, hours at Club Chino, and then yeah, nothing else happened. I went to work on Monday. I went to work on Tuesday, and today is Freedom Day. You know what? One thing about April. April is one of those months that just just know how to do their job, giving us breaks in between, giving us long weekends, giving us family days, giving us, just giving. And do you notice how, did you notice how fast it flew by? Because personally for me, I feel like the month just flew by. Um, so I'm just happy. Anyway, today's Freedom Day. I just got back from Wimpy to collect food. Um, woke up very late because we slept late. And Kabanga, we slept late because we were just chilling, drinking rainbows, watching TV, listening to R&B, nothing else. But no, he actually wanted to go out, but because I was blocked, he was like, you know what, let's chill. So yeah, um, today I actually have to go to the office. There's some things that I need to finish. I just want to rest, guys, because when I don't have things done, I dream of... I dream of all my incomplete tasks. I dream of the reports. I do. It's stressful. So because I don't really have plans today, I'm going to go to the office for an hour or two. And then later on, I'm going to get my hair done. It's over for the styling job. Well, it's not really over. You know, I could have survived a few more days, but I have plans for the weekend. So I want to look cute for the weekend. And you know, when you get an appointment with Nancy, you must jump. Because you, you miss one opportunity. You'll be... The next available appointment will be in June, and then you're going to cry the whole month of May. So I'm going to get my hair done later. I'm going to get um, the styling gel washed, and then I'm going to do braids with Nancy later on. So um, I don't know if I should take you guys along because really there's not much that's going to happen. We'll see. Let's just put it on pause for now. And if I just decide otherwise, I'll come back and I'll close off the Here's clean you guys it feels so good like i feel like the feeling of getting your hair washed is so underrated and this is some washing i'm and it's just like took her time my hair is so clean my scalp feels so good anyway i'm off to nancy's now and we'll talk later right guys it is now the end of the vlog it is the end of the day as well i got my hair done from by fancy nancy guys i'm so happy i did not lose braids this time around they're so lightweight they are so painless i could never imagine doing braids and then having them up in an updo on the same day it's insane they're so good like nancy just knows what she's doing like i, was, I explained over the phone what i wanted and I keep a net in Jongoba in Jailo and exceeded my expectations. You know what? I'm actually starting to be that type of person that doesn't want to sit for long to do her hair. Have you noticed my last few hairstyles, guys? Styling gel, less than an hour. Straight backs, less than like I've been doing thick straight backs, thick, thick straight ups. Like I've just been very lazy. And I think I'm going to keep it up because who has time to sit in the chair the whole day? I'm tired as it is. Anyway, I'm like, let me go buy scones from the bakery. You know the bakery that I usually go to for my fete and stuff. And then I see carrot cake and I'm like, is this delicious? And the lady's like, yes, it's delicious. And I'm like, well, obviously you're not going to say it's not delicious. But I bought it anyway and then I ate it and I was like, whoa, this is freaking delicious. It is, I think it's like, if Woolies is at a 10, 
this cake is at an eight, if not a nine. Yeah, I think Woolies, the one, the Woolies one, the cheese, the cream cheese is like stunning. But let's be careful, guys. Imna, like. I actually ended up buying it for everyone. I left um, some at home in Pile, asked me to buy her some. The lady who came to do her nails asked for some. Like I literally went back to the bakery because I had bought a small slice. I literally went back to the bakery and bought everyone cake. And so now I'm at my sister's place to drop off their slice because I just know they're going to love it too. So yeah, guys, this is the end of the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that you have subscribed if you're new. Give the video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Thank you so much, by the way, for the comments in the previous video. The rate of commenting definitely went up. I appreciate it so, so much, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just that